Hey, welcome back to DXB Today, where we are having something of, uh, well, a special focus on all things branding from an SME, from a business point of view, and take it a little bit further afield. Question we've all got is how important is colour when it comes to branding, be it logo, be it uh, the character of your company amongst others. Well, somebody who can certainly help us with that is Nabila Munchi, who is the founder uh, of Bloom Marketing Studio. Joining us now live on the sofa. Thanks for being with us. Of course. Thank you for having me. I'm, f I'm fascinated by this because you specialise in colour psychology. Um, yes. In branding. In yeah. branding. Yes. But it's not the first thing I think of with when it comes to branding. So wh how, how important come? is colour? I don't know. <laughs> You're here to convince me otherwise. So uh, colours can actually evoke emotions and then they also create your subconscious perception of stuff, right? If you go to a very fancy restaurant, if you look at their furniture even, it's it gives you luxury. It's See, the colors. I don't, I don't do that, but maybe, maybe I do. Maybe women do. I don't maybe know. Maybe I do subconsciously. Maybe I take that in. Maybe yeah, of maybe course. I take a judgment. 100%. Yeah? Yeah. Because, I do, would I do that with a brand as well? Yeah, because if you think about different brands, for example, if you think about financial services, they're always using blue. Most of them are using blue, if you think about it, because it kind of gives you that sense of trust. And if you think about sustainable, uh, sustainable brands, they're using green. So it's showing that they're very sustainable, nature, green, yeah. fresh. Yeah. Um, red can be used for excitement. So there's a lot of stuff that we associate with, with colors, and that really helps. Colors are amazing. Do you, um, are there brands out here that you like just by their colors, or you know, do, is there mm -hmm. brands that you think are really using you know, great colors that even people just recognize the color? Like for me, yeah, of course, for example, blue. Deliveroo. I just recognize that blue. Yeah. Yeah. I really like, um, nothing really comes up in my head right now, but obviously there are popular brands that are using colors like Coca-Cola Red, Tiffany Blue. Um, Emirates Red is, is, is mm. so significant, I think. You know, mm. it's when you see that Emirates logo, uh, yes, it's to do with the font, but it's also to do with the red and, and, and the fact that that runs through yeah. all their marketing. Yeah. Mm. And, it's so interesting as well, because not just in your branding, colors actually affect a lot of different things. Like you were talking about conversion rate and click through rates. So like if the button is a different color, you'll get more click through rates. No. I promise. Because it I catches attention, it, right? It. it catches attention. Right. So if your whole page is a different color and your button is like maybe red, it catches attention. Okay, okay you're and talking about the like, different colors that evoke different emotions. Are yes. there certain colors that you should avoid? Because I'm a very colorful person, and I'm like, <laughs> my logo is like pink and yellow and blue, and it's just like very pop artish. Is that a no-no, or is that just depend on, is it, does, depends is it on your brand audience. to brand? Depends on your audience. So for example, they talked about target audiences. So if your target audience is men, I'm assuming that's not a very good uh, colors Tom. to have. I couldn't get Tom. Couldn't win them over. No. Didn't ask a lot of questions, <laughs> <Dean>. <laughs> but it depends on your target audience and what colors they like. So you first actually do research on the target audience and what kind of brands that they already like and what those brands' colors are, and then you kind of formulate. You'll know. Yeah. So I, I, if I target moms, for instance, yes. I'm going to research what colors attract moms. No, I mean moms. There's also more subcategories in moms. Right. What kind of mom? And then you kind of do some research, mm -hmm. and um, but depends, really depends. It's definitely okay. not a no-no. So I notice a lot of media use red, for instance. Yes. Why is that? Um, passion, excitement, attention. Breaking news. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, of... also, sale signs when you're shopping are red because yeah, exactly. you're passionate about shopping yes, and going out there. Yes, <laughs> it's to action. yes it's, exactly. It's to spark a call to action. I yeah. think it does make you take action, and it catches attention. So if you're like, oh, sale. So I just need to move on. But to definitely red. your your no, <laughs> but your logo is not a no no. I need okay. to see it though before I can okay. say anything. I'll email it to you. Yeah. <laughs> so how can we use colors to improve like brand recognition and customer attraction? So of course for uh, colors when you create a brand you're using it everywhere. So it mm -hmm. kind of um, also makes your brand more recognizable. So in social media, so even before people see your name, if your graphics on social media are a certain color, they might already know subconsciously that it's from you. Okay. So that can really help. Um, in any marketing material that you use, even on your website, on you know uh, anything in your physical office, could be that color. And that kind of makes it cons consistent and the customer journey is also very consistent with that. 
because they feel the sense of brands are very sub, uh, subconscious in perceptions and the customers would feel very at ease. Just very quickly, just before yeah. we say farewell, can you change colors or not? Um, depends because if you're, because sometimes a lot of big companies have lost money. I can't, um, I just heard, read this news about how the packaging of Tropicana, they changed it and they changed some of the colors and their sales went down. Okay. So sometimes if the customers really like the colors, then People it might- be used to it and therefore, yeah. yeah. And then it might Sounds affect like stuff. It is fascinating. And Amila, bless you. Thanks so much indeed for being with us. Thank really you. really appreciate your time for Thank joining you. us here on the show. Uh, and it's over to Dina for today's quiz. Uh, Lucy, I have a sneaking suspicion you love surprises. That's me being sarcastic. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? Before we let you go, we're mm. going to do a quick quiz with you. Okay. Not a quiz. It's more like getting to know you. Okay. So in 60 seconds, I'm going to see how many questions I can ask. If you don't know the answer to one, don't have an idea, just yep. skip, okay? Okay. Don't worry. There's no wrong answer. Okay. Okay. Let's cue the time. Lucy, if you weren't working in branding, what sort of work would you be doing? Um, yalla, yalla, yalla. Uh, next one. Okay. okay. One thing you cannot live without. Oh, sorry, go back to the other one. Diplomat. Okay. okay. One thing you can't live without. Uh, Chanel. Oh, your motto in life and work. Um, um, uh, over, what's it? Under promise, over deliver, the other oh, way well. around. <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> we got it. We Under got it. Under promise, over deliver. Your first job. Uh, working in um, an a, a orthodontist. Okay. Your hidden gem in yeah. Dubai. Um, and I did x-rays. I love doing x-rays of teeth. Very happy for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got nice teeth. Thank you. So I could I happily do an x-ray. <laughs> Your hidden gem in Dubai. Sorry? Your hidden gem in Dubai. Uh, my bedroom. All right. If you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Um, um, a, a Harry Potter one that makes people disappear who irritate me. Oh. I hope you never use that on me. That's it, we got 60 no, seconds. No, no, I like Good you. answers, you like me, thanks. I'm glad you're not gonna make me disappear. Thanks so much, Lucy. Thank you. Now, coming up, Nimi caught up with Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar during his trip to Dubai. Plus, we've got a talented musician on set. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 